Hey everyone, it's Mike Taylor, aka Battleship Cobra, and I'm here today to do a demo of Print Boss. So I've been thinking about doing kind of reviews. Uh, this is not a sponsored thing, but I wanted to kind of do a new segment, kind of like uh, Battleship Cobra recommends or, you know, whatever, some sort of recommended uh, software add-ons. So if you used, if you've used SAP, Business One, you know that one of the weaknesses is SBO Mailer. Um, you know, when you're going to deliver mail out of SAP, you can, with the newer versions, automate the wording, um, but you can't use placeholders, and you can use the service SBO Mailer to send email, but you don't really know if it really has been delivered, and it doesn't have a lot of options to do uh, with using placeholders or selecting different methods of delivery or connecting to the server. It's just really basic information. You can't really test it in certain scenarios. So it's harder to use. So I would say this is kind of a gap with SAP Business One. So what you would want to use is either, I would say, you know, Print Boss is a good way to get started with something different. And then if you have the budget, you can go with B1 Up print and delivery, which I'm going to cover in another uh, video at some point. I'm a huge fan of B1UP, uh, but B1UP is relatively expensive, whereas Print Boss is not very expensive and it adds some really cool features to it. So what does Print Boss do? Print Boss is basically a printer driver software program that has a ton of other options to it. So when you're using Crystal Reports layouts, you can have different dynamic forms and dynamic variables passed to Print Boss in order to create um, you know, an email or to automatically print or to automatically fax something. So it controls the delivery of specific documents. So say, for example, you do EFT files. It's one of the most commonly used functions is delivering payment advise documents. So you do an EFT through the EFT wizard or through the payment wizard, you generate the file, you send it to the bank, the bank is sending out the uh, distribution of money and um, your vendors are like, la, 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 and they're like, oh, we got some money. Why did we get some money? So commonly you send something called a payment advise, which is basically a check stub document that says, hey, we sent you X amount of dollars for this payment uh, via EFT, wire transfer, bank transfer, whatever and uh, here's what we paid for. So if you do that through a bulk method like the EFT payment wizard, then uh, you could see my other videos on that. Um, this way with Print Boss, you can just send a batch of emails out immediately right from the finish of the payment wizard once you've generated the payments. And it'll uh, dynamically choose the uh, send or the receipt recipient of the email. It will dynamically word the email and it will dynamically uh, rename the file to show the format that you want, like kind of an adopt PDF. So I'm gonna show you how it works. It's pretty simple, but it's something that's kind of a gap with Business One and I'll show you how we normally use it. So I am going to uh, use my big camera here instead of my webcam and we are going to get started right now. Okay, so here is default SAP Business One. Actually, it's not really default. This um, this is B1 up just on a demo system. But again, I'm gonna talk about that in a different uh, setup. So the, the most common use, I would say, the reason most people go for Print Boss is they're doing EFTs, everybody's doing EFTs, and they wanna do batch delivery of the outgoing payments. So with default SAP, you are not able to batch send outgoing payments. It's a limitation of the system. Um, you can batch send invoices and stuff, but you can also use, you can use your uh, print boss to batch send invoices as well, or you can use it to send any other documents too. So keep that in mind. This is just an example of batch sending, but you could send one invoice email at a time and still get the same benefits, okay? So we go to the outgoing payment here. We click here. This is one I generated already. And um, I'm gonna do uh, an email here. 
Okay, so this, I'm, I'm not even using SBO Mailer, I'm just using basic um, Outlook email, which is my preferred way over SBO Mailer. I don't really like SBO Mailer. So you see here, hello, uh, doc recip, right? It does not use placeholders. You can set up placeholders. You can set up placeholders, but it will not dynamically word your emails for you, okay? So that is an issue. Um, so let's go back here. So you see this is named some, frankly, stupid string that doesn't make any sense. Uh, you have to manually replace these. So you would go doc number 30, and then you literally have to go Sarah. And the thing about my system is you don't even, um, hello, Sarah, da, 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 right? So you go and you replace these manually and then you send these out there. The, the PDF is attached, um, but it doesn't do much for you. So the ben one of the biggest benefits of um, Print Boss <clears throat> So one of the biggest benefits of Print Boss here is uh, so you can see this kind of runs in the background on the server and you can do it as a distributed network software so you can have it running on the server and then have everybody just kind of access it and then it uses this form setup so right now I'm just going to use this and I define the form using a bunch of variables here. So I'm going to have a PDF alias. So it's going to make a file called SAP Business Object Payment Advice and then the document number, it's automatically going to pull that. It's going to say email to and I dynamically pull the person assigned to receive the payment advice not just the default contact, all right? So keep in mind, the default contact might not be the person you're sending payment advises to. So there's a target, uh, an email group, and you can call it payment advise, and that's who's gonna get it. If two people have that, it's gonna, eat, it's gonna CC the second person. So I haven't set it up so it can do three, but we could potentially do if there's a whole bunch of emails. So this could also be used to CC a sales employee on a, an invoice or an order, you can really use and control these different forms based on what you're doing. In this case, my scenario is just for EFT files. So now I'm taking the amount, I'm trimming it down so it's a little cleaner, and then I'm making a subject, SAP Business Subject Payment Advice document number, so it's auto gonna replace this with what's in the file. Then it says, hello, an electronic payment has been sent to company name. Attached are the details of the payment, thank you, etc. So this is just basic. You can use HTML as well to do much more fancy things. You can use if statements and everything. You can go kind of nuts on that, okay? So let's just control, close this. So if we look at this, you're gonna see in the print preview, a bunch of stuff up here. So this is how Print Boss reads what's going on in your thing, and it's gonna remove these, but it uses this uh, information up here. So it has these, you know, it's going to use OGP SAVE. It has the document number, it has the total, it has the name of the contact, it has the email. That's just my email there. In this case, there's no CC email. And then it has the company name, which I've passed as a manual variable. So you can pass many variables to craft an email, and you can do all sorts of different things again, driven by any crystal report layout in any kind of scenario you want. So in this case, I could just push print and print to my print boss uh, driver and it's going to use that information it's going to craft the email it's going to send it automatically it's super easy you could potentially put like a field on the business partner and say how you would like it to be delivered so if they want it by email you can have it set to email if you want it printed you can have it be printed or if you want it faxed you could have it be faxed and then the crystal reports layout would figure that out and it would actually dynamically switch which form it uses so it can route it to a specific printer or it can route it to a specific wording of email or it can route it to even fax it if you want to do that <clears throat> okay, so Print Boss is very, very flexible in that way for delivering things. So where we're normally going to use this is from the payment wizard. Again, in my scenario like this, uh, you, you could literally go to the invoice here, pull up the last one, 
and then just push print to print boss. And then what it's going to do is it's going to do the same logic and run through there and do the delivery as needed. But I'm going to do it from a payment wizard run that I already did. I did it today. Um, if you had the EFT file format stuff there, you obviously would have the little button down there. I have another video on setting it up. If you need to do EFT file formats, you can use that. Um, but in this one, I'm just assuming you already understand what I'm talking about. So I made four bank transfers. I can just select to print the outgoing payments. It's going to make one outgoing payment per payment. And then by doing this and pushing print, I just have to select print boss. And what's going to do is it's going to read each one of the created outgoing payments and it's going to send that payment advice here. So you're going to see it's crafting the emails and it's just gone through and it's doing all these um, and dynamically wording all the emails based on the form. Okay, so now I just pop over to my Outlook. And here is the email that I got. Again, super simple. Hello, Sarah, an electronic payment has been sent to SMB Technologies. I was just using this to show you the placeholder stuff. SAB Business One Payment Advise 30. The name of the PDF has been redone here according to my specifications. You could literally do anything here. You could call it you know, you could call it a specific uh, project. You could do any calculations you want, SQL, everything. It's fully flexible there. Uh, thank you, accounts payable, and then my email. Again, you can use um, uh, HTML formatting too. I'm just keeping this simple. Then you have the PDF here, obviously. Payment Advice 30, it stripped out all that stuff, and you have um, all of your information here. So they know what they have received uh, payment for. So that's the standard way of working with it. I'm gonna switch back to my normal stance here. And um, with the normal way of working with it, again, um, you can do it with any of the documents, any of the crystal reports, and any scenario. You can use it to do fancier printing or routing different printing to network printers based on some sort of dependence. So out of the box, you could set only one layout specifically for a specific printer, but you could use Print Boss to dynamically switch things. So that's really awesome. And the best thing about it is it's not too expensive. So if you're gonna do EFT payments and you don't wanna manually issue, you know, if you're doing 20 EFT payments and you just literally wanna go boom and uh, send them all at once, this is the solution for you. So it's about, uh, I think right now it's 795 US dollars. I don't believe there's maintenance on that. It's just a one-time fee. So you can buy that through us or your partner. And we would estimate about one to five hours for setup and configuration. Just really depends on what you want to do. But for regular uh, form and setting up the email, I don't see it going over five hours. Obviously, if you have an extremely complex scenario, it's going to be more. So that's my demo of Print Boss. It's very simple, but it covers a very important kind of gap in Business One, which is the emailing. SBO Mailer is not that great and doesn't have that many options. Even if you do maintain it and keep it working, it's still gonna kinda let you down. Um, using Print Boss is a great way to make a small investment to uh, email and send all of your files, all of your forms, and all of your documents right through uh, email using nice formatting and nice wording so you don't have to write that uh, email every single time, especially with bulk things, you can send bulk emails that way too, if you want to do them that way. So it's really easy. You know, if a customer says, oh, I need like 10 email, 10 uh, things emailed to me, you can just batch them up, boom, send them all at once. If people are asking for that, you can do all sorts of different little scenarios um, and have them all covered by Print Boss. So I really recommend it. I've worked with it before. It's easy to implement and uh, again, it solves the problem. So uh, thank you very much for watching. If you want to support me, go to supportme.battleshipcobra.com. And I do have shirts now. <laughs> so here, Battleship Cobra. You can get the shirts. Just go to supportme.battleshipcobra.com. It really helps me. Um, it'd be so awesome to see people rocking the Battleship Cobra shirts. So they're $25 or something. Um, you can go to merch.com battleshipcobra.com as well to see them. I have a men's shirt, a men's premium t-shirt, a women's premium t-shirt, and a mug too. So go nuts and um, comment in the comments below if you bought a shirt, if you did buy a shirt, I'll, 
I'll send you something cool or I'll help you uh, build a crystal report or something like that. So thank you guys, you're awesome. Thanks to my sapiens and we're out.